All right, so the U.S. men national team lose 3-1 to one to the Dutch. Um, Greg Berhalter is a, it fucking sucks. He fucking sucks, man. Uh, he is by far one of our worst coaches. Uh, it, it, it seems like for us, we just can't, we, we just can't fucking get, get, get great coaches. Um, I don't, if anyone's saying, well, he got us to the knockout stage. Remember, we didn't make the World Cup in twenty during 2018 campaign. Guess what? Bob Bradley got us to the fucking knockout stage. Bruce Arena got us to the fucking quarterfinals. Get out of here with that bullshit. Are those better coaches? Hell, we, hell, we, hell, we, we even made it to the fucking knockout stage in 94 before, before we got knocked out by Brazil with a bunch of college players. This is the most talented U.S. fucking team that we have ever had, and we have, and we, we, we botched it. We botched it. Simple as that. This World Cup was a huge compilation of everything that was fucking wrong going into this thing because of Greg Berhalter. Management, poor, poor management, shitty tactics, and horrible, again, horrible roster management. Playing Greg Zar uh, Zardis and fucking and, and, and Aaron Long and all the like all these MLS all these old ass MLS players or crappy players all throughout World Cup qualification and, 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 and tournaments led us to this moment. Fucking we could have used Pepe today, right? We could have used Pepe today as a nine. Hell, for the most part, Gio Reyna finally got significant playing time. I thought he played really well when he got in the game. But he could, but again, had significant playing time when we were down 0 2 because Greg Berhalter decided to play fucking Jesus Ferreira. I'm looking at it. We're, we're, we're talking about sympathy and how this U.S. team fought and had grit. I'm tired of it. When are we going to start playing with the best? Where do we, I mean, fuck, when, can we, when are we going to make the goddamn quarterfinals? I'm tired of this shit. This team is so goddamn talented. We can play. I believe we can play with anybody else. But guess what? When you have a fucking incompetent coach like Greg fucking Berhalter as your as your manager, you're not going to go anywhere. You're not going to go anywhere. His tactics are shit. We kept trying to cross the we kept trying to cross the ball in with an I mean we are an undersized team and we kept trying to cross the damn ball in against 64 and 65 Dutch players. We couldn't oh my god man. I mean we had a chance to we had a chance at so many at so many goals today man, but we just couldn't punch it in. We just we we could not punch it in. And that's been the theme all tournament. We had our chances, we had our opportunities, but we don't have the we don't have the goal scores. We don't we don't have anybody that can punch in the back of the net. Three fucking Fords to in a twenty six man roster, and you had three Fords. Look at Alexa. Look at this fucker. Look at this fucker. I don't care if I get copyright. I'm sick and tired of this motherfucker right there to the right. Every single fucking time, he is the biggest Greg Berhalter fan. He is, the, I swear, he, oh, he he will give this fucking U.S. team every single fucking excuse in the book. Never takes any sort of accountability. Never ever uh, takes any sort of accountability. Never blames the U.S. team for saying, "Hey, we need to get better at doing this." That it's always got to be. So, it's always got to be sympathy with this U.S. team. I'm sick of it. Sick of it. Twenty twenty six. It can't be Greg Berhalter, guys. It can't. It can't be Greg Berhalter because guess what? In twenty twenty six, I can guarantee you that a fucking Lexi Lawless will say the same shit. We made it past the group stage. We made it. We're in the. We're, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, we're in the knockout rounds. And all of a sudden, you have a Lexi Lawless in twenty twenty six. Hey, it was a great effort by our boys today. It was a great. Hey, it was a great effort by our boys today. We played for not. We 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 we, we played great. We played with great determination. True determination, U.S. spirit. Um, but at the end, it was just not enough. But hey, I'm proud of these guys. I'm proud of this group. Sick and tired of that fucking sympathy bullshit. Sick of it. But yeah, guys, everything mounted up today by everything mounted today. 
Jesus Ferreras, the fucking Zardis, the Tim Reams, all these old ass MLS players or fucking nonchalant MLS players. All of it, all of it came up today. Mismanagement, everything, everything accumulated to today's result. I am not surprised that we got blown out today. Um, just not surprised, not shocked. As long as this guy is coaching in the U.S. men's national team, we will never go anywhere. We will never go anywhere. Simple as that.